Hi friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and today in this video we are going to discuss about main side effects of uh, using corticosteroids for a long period of time. So let's get in the video. Corticosteroids is often known as steroids and it is an anti-inflammatory medicine that is widely used in medicine. Corticosteroids are actually man-made uh, hormones that is uh, given instead of uh, hormones that is produced by the adrenal gland which is located on the top of your kidneys. Nowadays corticosteroids are available in different forms. Uh, first one it is oral that uh, we are taken uh, orally in the form of a tablet. Second one it is uh, in the form of uh, injection that is intravenously we are administered into the uh, bloodstream. We also have inhalers that is mouth and nasal sprays and also uh, uh, lotions etc. Before getting into the side effects we should know what are these corticosteroids are used for. Corticosteroids are mainly used to suppress the immune system and reduce the inflammation. They are used to treat wide variety of uh, diseases for example asthma, allergy, we also give this uh, for chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease that is COPD and also uh, we are given this for inflammation of the joints, bones, muscles etc. And also we can give for disease conditions like multiple sclerosis. Also corticosteroids are given during this uh, COVID uh, because of their targeted effect on the lungs. Corticosteroids can be also used to replace some of the uh, hormones that is produced in our body for example in case of uh, Addison's disease. These corticosteroids have not only benefits but also have long lasting uh, and very severe complications and side effects. Corticosteroids will be only prescribed if the benefits is uh, more useful than the side effects or risk factors. Usually they are prescribed in very low dose and for a short period of time because if you give for a long period it can give a tremendous amount of side effects. There are not usually lot uh, of severe side effects if you use tablets for a short period of time or uh, injections or inhalers but if you take these uh, tablets for a long period of time the uh, side effects start to appear. So the long time side effects includes first one it is uh, increased appetite so when we use corticosteroid for long period the automatically our body want a lot of large amount of uh, food every day and uh, it can cause obesity or overweight so these corticosteroids also can have uh, side effects to the skin for example there will be presence of acne and also there will be a presence of bruises and your skin will become very very thin and which can cause uh, susceptible to uh, dermatological problems and infections. In people with chronic use of corticosteroids there will be uh, continuous mood changes and it can cause anxiety, depression in those people after a long period of time. The next side effect it is uh, one of the main one and it is diabetes mellitus type 2 because long time use of corticosteroids will cause uh, insulin resistance. This is when the cells don't respond to the insulin anymore and the sugar level in the blood will increase rapidly. This is uh, steroid induced diabetes. That's why a lot of people who after the treatment of uh, COVID they're uh, they have uh, occur of uh, diabetes. Next side of it, it which is observed is uh, increased blood pressure uh, seen in people with uh, long time use of corticosteroids. Next one is osteoporosis. It's usually it is seen in people who are very old that means after 50 years old but if you are a person who take uh, corticosteroid for long time osteoporosis is uh, can occur very fast and uh, usually osteoporosis means it is uh, like thinning of the bones so in those people there is more chance of uh, fractures for example if those people they fell down there is more chance of 
uh, breaking of their bonds. Also, another one problem is that uh, withdrawal syndrome. That it is uh, a syndrome that means uh, the person will have a lot of uh, another uh, problems if uh, they stop this corticosteroid suddenly. So, because of the suppression of adrenal gland. So, uh, in those people who take corticosteroids, uh, actually they will reduce the amount little by little. They should not uh, stop using corticosteroids suddenly. The risk of experiencing uh, the side effects of corticosteroids mainly depend upon the type of corticosteroid that you take. That means like uh, oral cortico oral. That means using tablets is having more side effects as compared to injections and uh, inhalers. The next one is the dose. That means the higher the dose you take, the more chance of uh, having side effects. Next, the length of the treatment. So, if you are more likely to have side effects if you uh, take uh, corticosteroids for a long period of time. Age also a matter of uh, side effects. The young people and the more elder people, they have more chance of uh, increasing side effects because they have uh, suppressed immunity. Inhaled steroids can have uh, very less or no side effects when they are used at normal doses. However, sometimes they can cause uh, sore throat and mouth. Sometimes uh, they will have uh, difficulty in speaking and cough etc. can be observed. Uh, usually corticosteroid injection they are injected into the muscles and joints so in those people they will have uh, muscle pain and joint pain like for few days this injection can also cause muscle tenderness so after the injection it is uh, they should take sufficient rest other possible side effect is uh, in the area of uh, injection there can be infl infection or uh, thinning of the skin can be observed. In case of steroid tablets, short term use, for example, if you are taking it for less than three weeks, it's uh, very uh, non likely to cause uh, side effects. But if you are taking more than three weeks, then side effects start to occur. We already discussed about the side effects of the tablets before, and um, also taking corticosteroids will decrease the uh, immunity in our body so we have more chance of getting severe infections like measles, mumps, chickenpox that is transmitted from person to person if we are taking corticosteroids we should uh, sh we should not have close contact with people uh, who are having some infection so most of these side effects will reduce once you stop or reduce the take of corticosteroids we must take regular checkup for uh, diabetes, then increase blood pressure and glaucoma if we are taking corticosteroids for a long period of time. So this is all for today. I hope you guys found some useful information from this video. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And before you leave, please subscribe to the channel. And we will see you with another one video and good information. Until then. Take care and stay tuned. Goodbye.